All right, let's look at this problem. Uh, this is a very common type of problem uh, in this section uh, that we might want to use the relative velocity method. Uh, if you've got some link, let me do this in, in green, got some link AB that is rotating uh, in a circle, in a pure rotation. <clears throat> you see that this is in pure rotation right here. It's fixed at A. Uh, it's in pure rotation. And then there's this um, link BC that connects uh, it with this disk that is in pure rotation. Uh, so for that green bar AB, it's in pure rotation. For that pink disk CD, it's in pure rotation. <clears throat> it would be overkill to try to use relative velocity on either of those, but for this bar BC, that's kind of the main point of this problem is that bar right there, it's not in pure rotation. It's, I don't know if you can imagine right now, just at this snapshot, it's kind of moving up and, and it's going to go right there. Uh, <clears throat> that one's not in pure rotation. And so <clears throat> for a link that is, connect, that is um, you know, connected to a couple of things, um, that link may not be in pure rotation. So we could use the relative velocity method to, to uh, maybe jump from B to C. I don't know if you kind of see that that's where we're going at for this problem, but that's where we're going. All right, so bar AB has a clockwise angular velocity of 30 radians per second um, when it's at 60 degrees. Determine the angular velocity <coughs> of member BC and the angular velocity of member CD at this instant. <coughs> All right, so the angular velocity of BC is what we're looking for, the angular velocity of CD. Okay. Now, um, we're in the relative velocity method. We use that method for bars that aren't in pure rotation. So my, um, the, the, I don't know, the heart of this problem, <clears throat> the heart of this problem is bar <clears throat> BC, bar BC, and I'm going to use something like <clears throat> VC equals VB plus VC slash B. And I know that this is omega crossed with R C slash B. And that R is from C to B. So th this is the equation that I'm going to use in order to solve for uh, omega CB. All right. But before I get there, before I get there, do you see that this point B on the blue link BC is also point B on the green link AB, and whatever its velocity is, is its velocity. Okay, so before I get to the main heart of my problem, that blue link BC, <clears throat> I'm going to start, and I think this, you know, it gave you information about link AB, I'm going to start at link AB and find the velocity of, of B, right? So <clears throat> let me look at link AB, this green link AB, and given that this is 0.2, given it's a 30 radians per second is its angular velocity at 60 degrees, I could find the velocity of B. I would not use the relative velocity method for, bar, for the green bar. Technically, you can. I think it's overkill. Uh, but for the green bar, it's in pure rotation. <clears throat> we have two methods for pure rotation. Either V equals R omega and define the direction yourself. Or <clears throat> V equals omega cross R and that R needs to go from the center out. That R needs to go from the center out. So you could, <clears throat> I, I prefer to V equals R omega and I can visualize what direction it's at. What direction is it at? <clears throat> well, if this link is at 60 degrees, <clears throat> the velocity, let me draw it in black, would be perpendicular to that. So if the link is at 60 degrees, that link is a radial link. That link is like a spoke on a wheel, <clears throat> that link is perpendicular to the tangential direction, the direction of the velocity. 
<clears throat> that link is 60 degrees from vertical, <clears throat> so my um, velocity is 6 degrees from horizontal. My velocity would be 6 degrees from horizontal. Alright, but anyway, let's do the velocity of B. I'm only looking at link AB equals R omega, so this is 0.2 times 30, uh, so this would be 6 meters per second. But now, before I plug it in here, I can't plug it in there as 6. I've got to plug it in there as like an I and a J. Uh, it is 6 at 60 degrees. All right, so here we go. It would be, what, 6 sine 60 in the I and down 6 cosine 60 in the J. And I'm going to go ahead and 5.2 I minus 3j. 5.2i minus 3j. That I got that from pure rotation by just looking at link AB. All right, and, and, <clears throat> however you need to calculate that, V equals R omega, V equals omega cross R, technically you could use um, relative velocity and it would, it would turn out to be the same omega cross R. <clears throat> you need to be able to find that the velocity of point B is 5.2i minus 3j. And so now I can move to this blue link, the heart of my problem, link BC. I think it's helpful to write, you know, write out here, okay, what <clears throat> am I looking at to remind yourself? Okay, I'm looking at link BC, and I'm going to say VC equals VB plus VC slash B, and this is omega cross R, C slash B. All right, this is omega of CB, not the omega of AB. <clears throat> Remember, I'm on a different rigid body now, so I have a different omega uh, that I don't know, the omega that I'm trying to find. So don't try to reuse this 30 radians per second. Uh, that was the <clears throat> angular velocity for link AB. Um, we're on a different rigid body, so it, it can have a different angular velocity. All right, but this point does still only have one velocity, so that point does still have the velocity of 5.2i minus 3j. So I'll plug in 5.2i minus 3j right here. I'll say I don't know, but it's in the k direction right here. And that one from the figure, uh, I think that'll be pretty easy from b to c. Now, <clears throat> do I know something about the velocity of c? Yes, I do know something about the velocity of c. Not because of this link right here, but because it is connected to this wheel that is in pure rotation fixed about the center, the velocity of that point C is in the tangential direction of this wheel, right? The velocity of point C is in the tangential direction of this wheel. So if we're at the very, very bottom, then it is perfectly left or perfectly right, or, you know, right or left, okay? So, you know, that previous problem <clears throat> was a wheel that was rolling. This is not a wheel that's rolling. This is back, back a few, uh, you know, days and weeks. Uh, a wheel that's in pure rotation, yes, its velocity right here would be straight to the left. If it was here, it'd be straight up. If it was here, if it was here. So we're at the very bottom, <clears throat> so it is all in the I direction. <clears throat> so let me plug in everything I can. This VC, I don't know it, but I know it's in the I direction. This VB, 5.2I minus 3J. Uh, and then Omega, CB, I don't know it, but I know it's in the K direction. And I'm going to cross it with from B to C. Go back and look at that figure. Uh, it's just 0.2 in the I. It's just 0.2 in the I. So let me go ahead and I'll look at my I equation, my J equation. VC is in the I, 5.2 is in the I. And now is this one in the I? No, the K cross I, that's going to be in the J, so I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, so actually, I mean, that's it. So VC is 5.2 meters per second. It came out positive, so I guess it was in the positive I direction. It is in the positive I direction. You know, your answers can come out negative. If they come out negative, that just means you guessed the wrong direction. And then my J equation, I've got nothing. I've got minus three. 
And then, yes, this one is going to show up in my J equation as 0.2 omega CB. Uh, is it going to be positive J or negative J? K cross I is positive J. So it's going to be positive J. And so I would get omega CB is positive 15. Positive means it come, came out counterclockwise. All right. <clears throat> All right, so that was part of the answer. The... Um, Angular velocity of member CB is 15. All right, but then it also asks for the angular velocity of the wheel. It also asks for the angular velocity of the wheel. <coughs> how, could I, how could I find that? Do you see that we just found the velocity of point C? We found the velocity of point C by looking at link BC, but that is still the velocity of point C if I want to look at the wheel. So now I'm going to look at the wheel. Let me spell that. Wheel uh, CD. Now I'm going to look at the wheel uh, CD. Um, and I'm not going to use relative velocity. It's just, it's just a wheel that's in pure rotation. And now I know that the velocity at the bottom of that wheel that's in pure rotation is 5.2. I know the velocity at the bottom of that wheel is 5.2. And so I'm going to say, well, velocity equals R omega. Um, I know the velocity, I know the r, I can find the omega. So if I know this is 5.2, I know the r for the wheel is 0.1. What is the omega of wheel CD? The omega of wheel CD would be 52 radians per second. Now, this one will not come out positive or negative. This one I have to visualize the direction. Remember, this v equals r omega. That's a magnitude. I've got to know and visualize the direction myself, but <clears throat> I know that this was 5.2 in the positive I, so if this is 5.2 in the positive I, then, I'm, then you can visualize what direction this is going. This is going counterclockwise. So omega CD will be 52 radians per second counterclockwise. That is a great problem to understand the process, to understand the process. So look back See what we did. See how I uh, color-coded it right here. We started at link A, B, in pure rotation to find that the velocity of B was uh, 5.2i minus 3j. Then we took that velocity and we jumped to link BC. And BC is not in pure rotation, so we had to use the relative velocity method. And so we did that to find two things, that the omega of CB... Uh, was 15 and that the velocity of C was 5.2 and then we took that velocity of C and we went over jump to link to, to wheel CD um, and use that to find the angular velocity of wheel CD pretty cool right <laughs>